the 15 people, the original 15, as I call them, uh, eight of them have returned to their homes, to stay in their homes until fully recovered. President Trump promising to do whatever it takes to protect Americans from the coronavirus. And the same sentiment coming from state leaders today. New at 11, CBS 17's Maggie Newland is getting answers on what's being done to keep people from getting sick and what you can do to protect your family. Maggie. Angela, just within the past couple of hours, the CDC announced the country's first case of coronavirus in which the patient had not traveled to a foreign country or been in close contact with anyone known to have the virus. Now, that case is in California. Here in North Carolina, there are no confirmed cases of the coronavirus, but health officials say now is the time to prepare. It isn't here yet. We still consider the risk to North Carolinians as very low. It hasn't been something that's been at the forefront of my mind. But state health officials say the coronavirus could make its way to North Carolina at any time. It's a really hard thing for us to know when, which is why we're, we, we've been preparing for the past month and a half. The chairs of the governor's coronavirus task force want people to plan ahead in case they're sick or need to care for a sick family member. They're also asking businesses to look at HR policies, prepare for absences, and make sure employees are discouraged from coming to work sick. And they're working with hospitals to ensure they have supplies and infection protocols in place. This is a respiratory virus, just like with the flu. Um, but I think the case with, with this novel coronavirus is that because there is no natural immunity, we may have more people infected than we might have with the flu. I'm always washing my hands. If someone is like sneezing in front of me, I'm trying to go around them. Health officials say that's exactly what people should be doing. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, and also don't touch your face and your, and your mouth. What the health department does not recommend is wearing a face mask if you're healthy, even though we've seen them in other countries and some are selling out in stores and online. Face masks are meant to be used if somebody is sick, to use a face mask in order to prevent spread. They are not helpful to prevent infections. And health officials are really asking people not to stockpile those face masks. They say that will reduce the supply and they won't be there for the sick people who may need them. We're live in Raleigh. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.